KLO uh, America, or world for that matter, anybody that will listen, uh, I was greatly inspired by an article I saw on Fox News yesterday about uh, the uh, University of Florida uh, attempting to make a very inexpensive uh, ventilator uh, using PVC, and uh, they were also using parts from the sprinkler system to regulate their air. Uh, it got me thinking last night, and uh, so I came here to my garage this morning uh, with some of the ideas I put on paper last night and some of the research I did. Um, and as you see here, within a couple of hours, just in my garage, I was able to build something that, uh, from what I could find online, uh, replicates what a ventilator does. And just to go over some of the parts that we have here, uh, these are two uh, raft inflators slash deflators. Uh, so on a raft pump that you work with your foot, um, you can see here that this would be the inflate side and they automatically come built with a and this is this is something that costs less than ten dollars by the way uh, this is a uh, deflate side this automatically has a check valve in it now in a hospital setting uh, we're using this on somebody's life the uh, thought process here would be you would tie the pure oxygen into this side uh, when this basically what I did was I just made a foot pedal uh, that works on an electric actuator. Um, the foot pedal pushes down on it, which you're going to see here in a minute. You'll see how that uh, puts pure oxygen in this case, or what it would be, uh, into the lungs of a human being. And then um, at the same time, this one's going down, but this one actually pulls the carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide out of a human's body. Um, over here, uh, you're going to see that this is just 12 volts, uh, 2 amps hook up to a battery charger that I have. Um, but the way that this works is just two simple switches. And uh, in order to reverse the polarity, uh, all I've done, and you have to reverse the polarity so that when it hits a certain point on the downward stroke, uh, it starts to go up. I'm also going to elaborate in a minute here on, uh, I know the importance of a ventilator from what I read online is adjusting it to a certain person's capacity, their lung capacity, uh, their breathing rhythm, and so forth. I'll show you how those adjustments can be quickly made or built into this. But this is just a simple uh, always closed solenoid uh, that I'm using to switch the polarity. Uh, once the switches go up, it charges one of these, uh, which closes the contact on the inside, which again, reverses the polarity. Very simplistic uh, electronics for those that don't know electronics. Um, I originally had this hooked up to, this was just something that I pulled out of uh, a vehicle that controlled the um, fan motor in the vehicle for when you uh, would turn on your air conditioning or heat. Uh, however, this one was only for one amp. Um, and uh, as I was building this and trying it out, uh, the pressure to put down on these was pretty elaborate and it killed one of the capacitors in here uh, but this is something that only cost a couple dollars uh, again I'm not assuming that this device would go into hospitals but even if it can spark the minds of people that are well better minded than myself um, and have the capacity to run this through a CAD program to, to, to mill out these parts on a CNC very quick on the electronic components uh, these foot pedals can be purchased. I'm sure there's a warehouse with thousands and thousands of them stocked up somewhere. It could be bought, uh, bought relatively quickly. I did a quick search online. Um, so this again was over here. Um, this could serve two purposes. One, I was able to control the speed of the um, actuator, which controlled the speed in which the volume went uh, of air that went in. Um, and then if you turn here, there's two different ways that I could manipulate the uh, amounts of oxygen I sent into uh, the person's body. Uh, this mounted on this arm. And as you can see, when it would pull, the arm would pull it down. And when it reached a certain point, it would uh, reverse the polarity on these. I made it so that it mounted on here and you could quickly switch over uh, these screws which would, or slide this piece out and put it in a different slot, which would cause it, the stroke to be shortened because it would flip the switches uh, 
at a, in a shorter time period. The other thing you could do is you could use a device like this on your actuator arm. Now, please bear in mind, this is a 12 volt actuator, very inexpensive, cheap actuator. Uh, that's only a one inch stroke. So I'm doing this only on a one inch stroke. You could do it with actuators. Uh, again, I'm not insinuating this would go into a hospital, but somebody that could use this same concept. Uh, this actuator could be a uh, five inch stroke actuator. You can even have actuators that have adjustment strokes to them. Uh, so I'm gonna quickly show you how this works. Oh, one other thing that I wanted to mention, I noticed ventilators, um, there's all the importance of the speed in which you're putting the volume of air into a person's body the amount of air that you're putting into a person's body which again I just described on here can be quickly manipulated and I have a bunch of other other ideas that someone can please call me if they have questions if this lands in the uh, right person's hands that maybe can move forward with this in some certain degree um, I have a bunch of other ideas you can call me at 724-321 3078 again that's 724-321-3078 um, there was also the concern what I read online was um, uh, it was described in the article that a human's lungs are like a plastic bag and you don't want to pop that plastic bag so you have to be careful how much PSI so pressure per square inch of volume that you put in um, you could easily uh, put on here a pressure release valve that's dialed into um, uh, 0.17 uh, PSI to 0.35 PSI so that if you were uh, pushing a little bit too much volume it would bleed out once it got to that pound of pressure uh, but again there's all kind of different ways to manipulate this I want to make this short so hopefully it finds its hands in the right person I'm just going to quickly show you how this works um, my beautiful wife is videoing this if Honey, if you could just focus in on this bag right here and this section right here so it's close up so people can see it. Um, let me just go ahead and move that drill. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and flick this on. It's just the flick of one switch. You'll see how this will move on its own. Putting oxygen into the lungs. It automatically switches back by itself. You'll see again. Uh, well, one other thing that I did fail to mention. I'm going to go ahead and shut this off here. Uh, in a second. Um, one thing I did fail to mention, um, what I did in this was I read online that you want to put, uh, for the amount of volume that you put in, you want to take out about 50% of that volume because if you put in, a, uh, let's just say, 10 ounces of oxygen, uh, you want to pull out about 5 ounces of um, carbon dioxide. And so that's why, if you noticed, I measured these out in a sequence where if this stroke pattern um, in volume, the stroke was seven inches, uh, this was only three and a half inches. And so it was utilizing uh, the stroke to calculate out the amount of ounces of oxygen that went in compared to the carbon dioxide that's pulled out. Again, you would have your oxygen side, pure oxygen side in here. Uh, this again has check valves already built into it uh, this would this side would be uh, which is plugged into the deflate side of the pump uh, would pull the carbon dioxide out this would put the pure oxygen into your body um, I just want to say one other thing um, I, I was out this past week just to do some central things and I um, noticed uh, still just a bunch of people, kids, and playgrounds, and sharing uh, uh, apparatuses on the playground, and businesses and landscapers operating. You'll notice I, I own a tree company. Uh, I, I made sure my guys were with their family and home and shut down uh, according to the requirements of our governor uh, in the Allegheny County Health Department. Uh, we are here in Allegheny County, Pennsylvania, uh, Pittsburgh, north of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, I just want to say this. Please, everybody remember this. It, the, the, the World Health Organization has narrowed this down to who they believe would be two people. Uh, and this is important to understand and, and rationalize. A 56-year-old female selling live shrimp in Wuhan, China, or a 70-year-old male uh, in Wuhan, China, it was one person. One person 7,500 miles from Pittsburgh. Almost six months ago. 
look what it's become today. You, me, anybody. We could be that one person. We could be that one person. I could be walking around with the virus right now um, and be totally asymptomatic, but carrying it and spreading it to other people. Please, 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 listen to our health professionals. Um, the quicker we um, all do our part in quarantine, the quicker we'll get out of this, the quicker America will recover and the rest of the world will recover. And let me also just say one other thing. Um, I'm not trying to push my beliefs on anybody. Um, however, uh, I, I uh, allow God to um, play in every decision I make in life. And um, I especially call upon him in times of need. And for those of you that are out there that are alone or wondering what's next, uh, what's to come, um, I can promise you this. If you accept God into your life, he will always, always be there for you at any second. Any moment of the day, any second of the day, he will be there for you. And it will also build a, uh, a relationship and environment in your community of those others that believe in God uh, to be a support network for you that's unbelievable. And I can, I can say that because I've been there. Um, and I, I walk in those shoes every day. Um, and I can tell you through this process, uh, it's been um, just an amazing venture to, to be able to, to pull and count on those people. And lastly, the, the, the uh, public servants, politicians, uh, medical professional, professionals, whether you're EMT, ambulance, uh, I mean, firefighters, whatever it may be, um, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of your heart, or from the bottom of my heart, my family's heart. We pray for you every day, um, and uh, may God bless, and uh, we love you all, and hopefully this can find its way to the right hands and uh, be useful. Um, 